this is Mr. Bill. Today we're doing rear brakes on a 2000 Jeep Wrangler TJ. Okay, so I got the wheel pulled off. I took several pictures of how everything's oriented. I got the vehicle jacked up and somewhat of jack stands going on here. I'm going to spray everything down and clean it up and then start taking things apart. Okay, so these are my go-to tools. Uh, this thing is used for taking these springs off. Push it in and turn it until it disengages. This is used for taking off these springs. Of course, I'm not going to be able to do it with one hand. There you go. And then I put them back on with this end. And you use it as leverage right here. The spring on here and then you lift up and it slides back on. I also use these uh, to pull this small spring off down here, which I'll get to later. Okay, so I like to lay out the new shoes underneath and transfer when I can. So I took this spring off. I'm going to take this small spring off get this adjuster out of here and then loosen this and get this uh, I'll call this the forward shoe off and then when I get to this side I'll take this spring off um, this cable comes off it hooks on to this little clip down here and I'll get to that in a minute um, for whatever reason the smaller shoes uh, there's a small pad and a larger pad on both sides. The smaller one was quite uh, worn more than the, the bigger side maybe because there's more friction material. Okay so on this forward side I got this spring off, this small spring off. Uh, disengaged this from this pin, took the adjuster out, took this out and made a note that it goes like this with the arch face up on this side took this out and this clips underneath here into that slot right there I got this spring and this out and this cable rides up and over this leave that like that I'm going to disconnect this and this will remove this shoe and then this part here needs to be transferred over onto this pin here um, and there's also a small spring if you can see it I'll show you in a minute now I've seen some crazy things in my okay so this is off loose now just a note that this part here that's in this shoe is part of the parking brake uh, that's what actually engages it so this has to be back in there um, lined up or you'll never get it back together all right so i'm going to pull this last shoe off you can see the parking brake thing there uh, it just gets lined up like that with the new one i'm going to clean everything up uh, this is what i'm talking about it needs to get transferred um, so the hole is Got a small hole and a bigger hole, so you move it till you can get the pin lined up to the bigger hole, and it'll slide off of there. And then there's a small spring um, that gets transferred over to the other new shoe. Okay, so you really need to get a GoPro or something. So you you, line, you take it from the small hole to the big hole, and then this will come out. Um, see how that's together like that. Then this part will come out of there. And then you work this spring off just like so. So I'm going to immediately transfer it over to this side. And then I'm going to work this back on with this being underneath there. Sorry, like this. I don't think I can do it with one hand, but you go into the big hole and then you slide it up into the little hole. I have to use two hands. So then I'm going to clean everything up. I'm going to get like an old paintbrush or a small wire brush and spray everything down and clean it up. I'm going to add grease to these wear points here, 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 
here and there's one more over here and you can see where the metal rods on metal let's put a small dab of grease on there okay so it's back on transferred to the new side um, you'll see that that pin has a notch and that's what this goes into so you put it in a big hole and then it slides on into the little hole and then you can take the spring um, and get it wrapped around here like it should be so that's what it looks like when it's all done Okay, so everything's back together. I did replace this one cup here. The old one, I just couldn't get it to stay on. It was kind of beat up. Um, so I got everything adjusted um, to where I can slide the drum on and off with not a lot of drag. Um, I'm just gonna put the, the drum back on and give it a few more clicks and check that. It's hard to make these videos with one hand, but. Uh, there you go um, for you those who haven't seen I did these box shocks uh, a couple two years ago and as you can see um, there's been frame repair here uh, my good friend Tony at TNT welding it's in right outside of Pittsburgh if anyone's looking to get their frame welded it does an excellent job so there you go. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, Mr. Bill.